So I'm off to a ball tonight. I have tickets to the Bridgerton Secret Cinema experience. I'm really excited. However, as you can imagine, I don't really have anything in my wardrobe which is suitable for such an occasion for going to a ball. So I felt like this was the perfect opportunity to review by rotation, which is a clothes renting app. First of all, why are we renting? This is a very sustainable channel here. We like to do sustainable things. Buying clothes that will only wear once definitely isn't sustainable. In fact, I try and do the 30 wear pledge. So if I buy something new, I think in my head, am I gonna wear this 30 times? And if the answer is yes, I will proceed to buy it if I haven't been able to find it secondhand. And if I think no, I don't get it. This is because the average Brit owns over 4,000 pounds worth of clothes and 30% of that goes unused, which is a wild amount, especially when you consider all of the resources that goes into clothes and as well, let's be honest, all of the exploitation. If we are buying clothes, I think we need to be really mindful about it. So renting is a great alternative for when you are going to an event or something like a wedding or graduation or a Bridgerton ball. You're gonna wear this outfit once. There's no way I'm gonna get 30 wears out of a Bridgerton dress. So it's the perfect time to try renting. By Rotation is one of the UK's leading peer-to-peer -peer rental apps. That means that it is lent by people in the community rather than there being a big warehouse that By Rotation have, which is full of clothes. It's all other lenders who have lovely wardrobes renting out their clothes. That makes it quite different to some of the other platforms. Also, this really helps them have a bit more of a diverse like size range. A lot of the apps which buy clothes in, they'll probably buy like size eight to 14 because they don't have enough money to buy like the full catalog, but that's not very fair. If you are a plus size person looking for clothing, it can be really hard to rent. So by rotation kind of is a little bit better if you're plus size. I haven't seen stats, but I'm sure there probably aren't as many options if you're a size 18 as if you're a size eight. But anyway, we're gonna go through the whole shebang here. We are gonna go through my rental experience. We're gonna go through the outfit arriving, through getting ready and we're gonna go through returning the outfit as well. This is gonna be a real full-on experience here. So I think I'll start with talking about what it was like to find the item I got. So when it came to searching for the item, I can't say I found the experience super easy. It was quite fun browsing through a lot of clothes, but there are only a certain number of things you can filter on. So I could filter on like size, maybe brand. You can also search on like color and location, but those weren't really the things I was looking for. There was also a search bar, so I could search like Bridgerton inspired dress or Bridgerton dress, but that it, nothing really came up. I don't think sellers are able to add lots of tags to their clothes. I even tried stuff like balloon sleeve dress or midi dress. It was just, it was very hard. I wish there were a filter when I was going through clothes to say like mid length or balloon sleeves or something like that. Something which could help narrow down the results, but I kind of just opted to look at size 10 and size 12 and went through like that. I did eventually find a dress. It's from a brand called Balm and third garden. It's a beautiful dress and they say it's perfect for weddings or holidays or anything. I personally think it looks like the perfect like, Bridgerton dress. This is like the dress code I've got for the Bridgerton event. I hope we can agree this dress kind of works for it. I really like it. I think it's gorgeous, but it was only available in a size 10. And honestly, when I'm renting, I would rather go for a size 12 in case it doesn't fit. You'd rather it be a little bit too big than, <laughs> oh no, it's too small. We'll, we'll get on to whether or not it fits later. The retail price is £295, so it's like a 300 quid dress. The minimum rental period is three days. That is pretty standard. It's hard to find anything outside of that. So if you order it to arrive like the day before the event, that's fine. And it says it costs £10 a day to rent, but then as you go through checkout, you realize there's also a £10 cleaning fee, a £6 service fee, but I also had a discount code, which took off £6.90. And then there was the postage fee, which was £8. You go from thinking you're spending 30 quid to actually spending £47.10 pence which is the breakdown of the cost of this dress for me. I also realized on top of that, I need to send it back. So that is an extra level to the cost, which is quite annoying because you don't really think about that. Sellers asked me to return it and track delivery, which obviously makes sense. You want to make sure you've got evidence that you've sent this. Yeah, it's just an expensive delivery option basically. So it does add up. It's easy to think when you're browsing through like, oh, 30 quid when really, no. Another frustration kind of which I've already touched on, I found the dress that because it was from a peer to peer thing, it wasn't available in a variety of sizes. They had the one dress that was size 10. There was no option to find size 12. That was a recurring theme. Like sometimes I'd find other dresses which would have worked, but they were like a size eight or a size 16. So that's quite frustrating when you're going through the app. That's just a part of by rotation and the nature of their business. Also on the filtering thing, this one I think affects everyone, but particularly vegans. For me, I really would like to have filtered on like material or at least filter out materials. For example, 
example, not wanting silk or wool or anything non-vegan, it would have been nice to have the option to filter by materials. And I think it's very odd as a clothing rental app that it doesn't have the opportunity. I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about renting. To be honest, it's mostly silk because I love silk items. I love the way they look and fit and I buy secondhand silk, but somehow renting it feels a bit different, especially because it's a new, like not a new economy. People have been renting for ages, but it's going through a boom. It's going through a crazy growth and there are a lot of new businesses coming out of it. So if I'm renting a lot of silk items, I, I think that would increase the demand for silk and then they're buying more silk items to rent out. I still feel like it's not something I'd engage with as a vegan, even though I would buy secondhand silk. It's a very odd one. Any vegans here, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below on that. Now I'm gonna hand over to previous Nicole, who's gonna go through uh, receiving the item, what that was like, also trying it on and all that malarkey. It has just arrived and it's arrived really, really early. And I just really panicked as well. I was like, oh my gosh, because you get like a three day window, or at least I know that's what I paid for. So I rushed to my phone because the event's not till Thursday, like it's in a week's time. So I just rushed to my phone to make sure that I got the dates right. And I have, re I have reserved it for the right dates. Just, I guess she decided to send it early. I reckon after a certain point, she knows she's not gonna be able to kind of like send it out and have it rented before it'll get to me. So this way she was able to send it out to me. And if it didn't fit me for some reason, at least I can send it back and it can get rented. I don't know. I'm very grateful, but this really threw me. I did not expect it. Um, I'm also not looking that great. Like, look at these eyes. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I didn't expect to film, but I'm too excited to try this on, especially because it is a size 10. I don't always fit into size 10, but this does feel, I was about to say feel reasonably stretchy, but no, like here is stretchy around the bust, but I guess the bit where it cuts in right under feels pretty rigid, but I think, oh, I'm not sure. We'll see if it fits. This is the worst part, but at least, at least if this does not fit, we have a chance to send it back and try and find something else in time. Also the thing about her is that you're renting from people. So my experience might be a bit more specific to the one seller I've, I've used rather than representative of all sellers. So this clearly, by the fact that I've got this dress so early, is a pretty exceptional seller. Her name is Anna Claudia. I'll leave her details down below. But yeah, she sent it in a reusable mailer as well. So I just have to send it back in this, which I think is super eco-friendly. I love that she's done this and it's all in fitting with the rental culture. But yeah, shall we, shall we try this on? It fits. I'm so happy. Oh my God, who is she? Oh my gosh, I love this. I can go braless. It's like snug enough that I don't have to worry. See, I've got some gloves I'm gonna wear of it and I've got like a choker I'll wear as well. This is gonna be really fun. I can't wait to show you guys the final look. I'm in love with this seller. She has just saved me so much stress. It feels really wrong to be reviewing this seller because I feel like this is gonna be an exceptional experience of using by rotation and I feel like she has set a very high bar. Apologies if your sellers aren't incredibly helpful too. I love this so much. I'm very happy that this has gone well, that the seller has sent it early, that it fits. This is all going very well so far. So I'm just gonna head off to Christina's now because she has kindly agreed to curl my hair for tonight. I'm not that good with curling, so I'm really happy that she has offered to help. I'm really looking forward to this. So I've got the final look put together. Bloody love it. These gloves I haven't rented. They're from a small little designer called Ida, made ethically by women in London. Their sizing isn't very great. I did want to dress off theirs and I think I'm too big for the biggest size they had in stock, which was sad. These gloves I'm hoping to work with quite a few outfits this year. I really love the glove look. They're so small, I can keep them for years and years. So if gloves go out of fashion quite fast, I'm sure they'll come back in. I just, I've always loved the glove look. I think it's something from watching Anastasia as a child. Yeah. Earlier when I was talking about renting, I had these in mind along with a couple of other items because these cost me like 50, maybe 60 quid. I'll put the price here because I might be talking shit. It's an investment piece and I like to think I'll get wear out of them, but one way to guarantee that is through renting them. If I can't get 30 wears out of them, I can share them around so that get 30 wears, if that makes sense. This dress, by the way, gorgeous. So I've put on this choker as well. I've had this for years. I remember I got invited to an award show 
back when I worked in travel, I used to work in corporate travel. I was so flattered I got to go along to this award show. I think it was probably like 2017. I look great. I had like this grey dress on and this choker. So this has been around for a while and I think this is actually the only other time I'm wearing it out. So it's definitely not reached its 30 wears, but we're at least on number two. There were two like categories you could go as to this ball. Not two. There was more than that. The two were very dressy, the other two were very suity. One of them was very like pastely, very girly, and the other one was kind of like baddie, which is what I've gone with. I'm gonna put on my goddess perfume from Lush. I feel like it is perfect for the occasion. I'm really gutted you can't take cameras in. I hope I get some nice photos before we enter. I think you do get the opportunity to take some. Sorry, back to the focus of the video. So the bad part is it is still quite expensive. Obviously when you think about it in relation to getting a new outfit, especially of quality, it's good value for money, but it's not something to do every week. I rent items more than most because of the nature of my job. I am an influencer. I get to go to quite a few events and I'm always sharing my outfits online. I'm often dressing up. It's just, come on, focus. So yeah, it works in my line of work to rent quite frequently. Never measure how much you should rent to how much an influencer rents if you're not an influencer. Not only is it expensive, I feel like half the issue is, is that I feel like the prices are a bit misleading. And I guess most places do that sort of shit to lure you in and then bam, <laughs> they hit you with the real price. But it, it was just kind of frustrating as I was going through the process. I was like, ah, oh, it's building up and up. But like pretty much every rental platform I've used has had a discount code, which I can find online before signing up or before getting my first rental in. Just Google it, you'll find some Thing. One of the more stressful things is about whether or not knowing whether or not it'll fit. That is definitely an issue. One tip I have is kind of like you know your body, you know your troubled areas. No, not troubled areas, sorry. That is an awful way of phrasing it. What I meant by that is what is most likely to cause you trouble when trying to fit in something. Personally, I've, I've grown to love my wide hips, but my hips and thighs and bum are the chunkier part of me. I'm, I'm a pear shape and it's okay. Uh, sounds like the least sexy of the shapes. So I wasn't too worried about this dress because I knew it'd be snuggest here and I've not got big tits. If I had big tits, I'd be a bit worried. I'd recommend being thoughtful when you order something and think, is it snug at a point which is often an issue when fitting in clothes? So if this was snug on the belly, bum, uh, I wouldn't have felt so confident and would have caused me a lot more stress, but I felt like this was gonna be all right. And plus the whole design of the dress, like, it just needs to be snug here. It's not fitted all round. That was helpful. Also, you can message sellers. They will tell you the measurements. The one thing which is actually really annoying is that you need to be home to accept the delivery. It's all well and good ordering, but if you're ordering for the day before your event, you need to be at home like pretty much all day waiting for this parcel or have someone around waiting for it. And that has been annoying. Um, it wasn't in this scenario just because I got it so far in advance, but with renting in general, especially when you're renting like that three day period for a one day event, it can feel a bit tight. This sender and most senders I've worked with do send like guaranteed 1 p.m. Something like that really helps. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Don't jam pack your day. The day it's due or the day after it's due in case you need to go to the post office and collect it. Work that time into your brain. It's obvious when you hear it, but you wouldn't think of it unless you've gone through it or you've been told. So I hope that's helpful. But as far as the good goes, I will say there's quite a lot because I'm continuing to rent. The good thing is you get something new, you get the hit of something new about actually buying something new. And especially for something like this where I'm gonna get a lot of photos, a lot of memories, like the stress is gonna live on with me in that way. And I'm so happy it's gonna make the night of so many other people. If anyone's going to the Bridgeton Ball, I'm gonna leave a link of this exact outfit down below so you can piece it together because I think I look great. <laughs> like I said, with value for money, yeah, it's expensive to rent, but this dress, what did I say, 300 quid? <laughs> I could not afford that. I wouldn't get the wears out of it. And it is actually really nice wearing something that feels like quality. Like you can feel the difference between this and a Topshop dress or a Zara dress. Like it feels good and it looks great and it's got pockets. I mean, you can just put stuff in them. They're actually really big pockets too. I don't know, snacks, could sneak my phone in. I'm not gonna do that. It also really lets you experiment with styles and trends. For example, I would never buy this dress. It's not something I typically lean towards. If this were a mini dress, okay, maybe I would have bought it. But no, it's let me experiment, let me go for a midi dress. I think that's quite fun. And again, something like this, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like the whole Bridgerton aesthetic with like the big sleeves and stuff and the square neckline, I love the style, honestly I adore it. Reminds me of Tales with Love Story in a way, that sort of like romantic elegance items. I have a lot of those in my wardrobe because I really love them, but I am aware they're trendy and I, I really hope I still love them afterwards, especially like stuff with balloon sleeves. So when you love a trend, instead of buying lots of things of that trend, it is really nice to rent things on that trend. When we are going through trend cycles so fast, it's nice to rent because this means this dress is more likely to get its 30 wears because it would be so 
difficult for any one person to get 30 wears out of a formal dress which is kind of trendy to be quite honest. I really need to get ready to leave. I've got like 20 minutes before I have to go so I'm gonna have like another glass of wine to pre-drain. I hope my <laughs> joker hasn't been wonky all video. I've got to get the train. I've got to walk to Liverpool Street and get the train. Oh, this is gonna be embarrassing, but it's fine. Ah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really lovely. It seems like a really fun thing to do with girls. Literally, the season's just starting. If you are interested, I'll... I'm gonna be packing up dress tomorrow. I'll give you a quick review of anything that goes wrong. When I've rented with, I think, her in the past, I've had an option to take, like, pay five pounds extra for accidental insurance. And depending on what I'm doing, if I'm doing something quite tame, I won't pay for that. But if I'm going to, like, a party or a ball or something like tonight, Yes, I would opt to pay for that and the fact that I can't see that in my receipt I think means that it wasn't available because I think this is the sort of situation where I would have loved to have done that So I don't know what happens if I damage this dress tonight. Fingers crossed I don't. This is always something you should be aware of when you rent I'll leave some notes in the description when I'm editing and I'm at my laptop and like let you know what the general policy is with my rotation That's an important one because if I break this am I liable to paying 300 quid or repairs? Imagine Ugh but yes, I'm gonna go to the ball now. I don't feel as sexy now that I've got this on. I'm like gonna walk to a station like this, I think. <laughs> oh my God, baddie, I love this look. light issues again but I really need to get to the post office and send this back. Love this dress. I felt incredible. Lots of people put in so much effort at the Bridgerton event as well. I really recommend Secret Cinema but if you do go just get involved and do all this stuff. With Bridgerton they were doing like these half hour dances and the characters will be like do you want to dance with us? Half of you want to be like no but they were playing like an orchestral Taylor Swift, look what you made me do. When the Bridgerton mum came over and asked me if I wanted to dance, I went with her and then halfway through the dance she's like, meet me at the bottom of that staircase at the end of this song. I was like, okay. So I met with her and then she took me into like this press room, not to spoil too much. We were told to start like spreading rumours about one of the dukes or counts or whatever, someone with a black eye basically. So I was finishing off my little like vegan burger, like last right when he walked past and I'm like, <coughs> And then he sent me away on an errand. I ended up putting on a wager and helping out an actor and it's fun to be part of the story but god I'm glad we're going through this because I've left stuff in the pockets. I had a key, I made a wager and then I got this Bridgerton booklet. I don't know it was quite nice. I didn't think there was anything too interesting in it but it's cool to go away with a booklet, a little souvenir from the night. Yeah just advice to get involved check your pockets <laughs> check your pockets before you send something back but yeah by rotation helpfully sent me out where is my phone by rotation sent me an email this morning just saying rental completed oh i wish it told me the address i was sending it back to so now i've just got to go view rental they're trying to get me to review it i just need to know where to send it back that's so annoying great dress excellent seller perfect for Bridgerton. This is so annoying when you're in a rush. I hope I get the address after doing this. I can add photos, so I think that would be helpful. I feel like that is nice to do for the seller. Shame you can't add videos. I would love to add like my little 12 video, but it's fine. Review. This is not actually as simple as I'd hoped. Where's the address? I'm actually finding it really impossible to find the address. This is annoying. This is an issue. I'll let you guys know when I figure this out. Pop the dress in here. This is the reusable mailer. All I need now is the address, but I really need to go and I'm in a rush. I've had to bring the bag with me. I've messaged the seller. I'll wait for her to get back to me, but I can't see the address on there at all. And that seems like quite the flaw. Weird one. So she sent me her address on Monday. She got back to me. It's now Wednesday and I'm sending it back. I meant to send it back yesterday, Tuesday, but there were tube strikes. Nothing else was really on my mind, so I completely forgot. I guess she just wasn't that fussed about having it back so fast. I think a lot of these people are like first-time lenders. It's still quite a new economy. It doesn't seem like she's in a rush, like she's got another order ASAP, so that's been quite nice. But I think mostly uh, lenders do like to get these back like very promptly. Keep that in mind. This has been quite chill. It's glad I'm getting this like out of my care. I feel just like happy to finally close off this renting experience. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time. Bye.